Good day. I'm Dr. Wilson. I have been privileged to work with Dr. Pache for the last couple of years, and during this process, we have uh, come up with uh, some evidence to suggest that uh, the mangosteen essence has been beneficial for a variety of ailments, uh, one of which has been, it seems to help with uh, patients with pain. Uh, one of the things that uh, we've noticed is that there seems to be a lot of anti-inflammatory effects as well as analgesic effects, and this has been borne out in various studies uh, in vivo. The, after uh, years of uh, using this product and thousands of patients uh, that have been using this product with no side effects, uh, we embarked on the, the study that was done uh, multinationally. Uh, I uh, spearheaded the effort here in the United States, here in California, and uh, the purpose of the study was to determine if the mangosteen had any beneficial effects on stage four cancer patients' pain. Uh, the pain that is associated with cancer is very difficult to treat. Uh, there's been numerous efforts to try to help those kind of patients. Some patients don't like the traditional um, treatment, which includes narcotics, uh, which have multitude of effects, including mental status changes, as well as fatigue, sleepiness. And so it's an area that we would like to be able to assist patients uh, with something that didn't have quite so much toxicity. So uh, we started in on this study. Uh, it was very difficult to recruit patients here in the United States as people here uh, are taking chemotherapy uh, pretty much right up until they pass away uh, from cancer. Uh, but uh, we did uh, recruit for several months, uh, attempting to get uh, patients into the study. One of the interesting things was uh, the, the qualifying, uh, qualifying to get patients into the study, they had to have several criteria met, including uh, stage four cancer. We required the biopsy to have been done to prove that it was cancer. Uh, there were several, several other requirements that needed to be met, one of which was that they could not be on any chemotherapy or hormonal therapy at this time. That excluded pretty much uh, 90 plus percent of patients here in this area where I'm located. Um, however, we were able to recruit a few patients and uh, the results were very interesting. What we found was that uh, there really wasn't any uh, toxicity associated with the uh, higher doses of the mangosteen that we administered to them. Uh, we gave them uh, nine capsules a day and a TID divided dosing, as well as one bottle of the mangosteen essence a day. Over the course of time, what we saw was that the pain levels decreased in every uh, instance and their pain became more manageable. Uh, so it was very interesting to see the results of that over time. Uh, there were several patients that were not able to complete the study due to the advancement of their disease. However, uh, the patients that did complete the study, we did see a positive result. Uh, there were several severe limitations uh, on this side, which includes the small uh, sample size. As a result, we were, weren't able to prove anything statistically. However, we did note that there was uh, evidence to suggest that further study would be indicated to statistically prove beneficial effects of the mangosteen on stage four cancer patients. So it was a lot of fun doing this study with Dr. Bache. We look forward to uh, more studies in the future and we appreciate what he's done uh, for the community in medicine.